The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Joachim and Anne, how chaste a couple, how happy a marriage, and how wonderful a home. While safeguarding the chastity prescribed by the law of nature, you achieved with God's help something which transcends nature in giving the world the Virgin Mother of God as your daughter. The woman who would become the Ark of the New Covenant and tabernacle of the Messiah of the whole world. Joachim and Anne, pray for a renewal of marital chastity and fidelity in the domestic church of the Christian family and in the whole church of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the church. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you. That promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses the Bible speaks of. They have gone before us marked with the sign of redemption and lived their lives by faith. They inspire us by their holy lives. They also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. Included in this communion of love are the parents of Mary, the mother of the Lord Jesus, Joachim and Anne. They are a sign and symbol of the beauty of married love. They are also the maternal grandparents of Jesus. Good parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grandparents of our Savior Jesus Christ, when life seems barren, help us to trust in God's mercy and be fruitful. When we are confused, help us to find the way back to God. When we are lost in the desert, lead us to those whom God has called us to love. St. Joachim and St. Anne, pray for us.